With new details in the attack that killed a Roseville Marine, here's what we know so far. The Taliban has killed that leader, and the thing is, they say that it happened at an airport. And here's what we know, based on the information that we've been able to receive, it was a suicide bombing. It happened at an airport in August of 2021. The attack killed 180 people, including Roseville native Sergeant Nicole G., a graduate of Oakmont High School. U.S. officials say the United States did not coordinate with the Taliban in the killing of the ISIS leader. And ABC 10's Luke Clary is live in the studio tonight with local reaction. Chris, we've spoken with the family of Marine Sergeant Nicole G. We brought you the story of survivor, the Folsom native Marine Sergeant Tyler Vargas Andrews, who lost an arm and a leg. And tonight, a veteran's mental health and uh, mental health advocate says that the killing of this ISIS leader may not offer comfort to the families of fallen service members. America's chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021. U.S. officials now say the Taliban killed the ISIS leader who masterminded the airport attack that claimed the lives of 170 Afghan civilians along with 13 American service members. 13 American families devastated and a loss for words as to how this could have possibly happened. Danny O'Neill has questions. Sign up for the Army on 9-11. I was 19. The owner of Kinetic Inc. in Folsom also runs a nonprofit focusing on mental health of combat veterans like him. I don't believe the families will be comforted by this person's death today. Photos of the 13 service members lined the walls of his shop, including that of Roseville native Nicole G. Her entire family misses her every single second of every single day. This is not going to change how they feel. So for them, there's probably not any closure. This doesn't make them feel better. Folsom native Tyler Vargas Andrews lost an arm and a leg in the blast. Ten minutes passed. The 25-year-old gave emotional testimony to Congress. Then a flash <clears throat> and a massive wave of pressure. I'm thrown 12 feet onto the ground, but instantly knew what had happened. I opened my eyes to Marines dead or unconscious lying around me. He went on to describe the catastrophic injuries to his body and characterized America's withdrawal from Afghanistan like this. The withdrawal, <clears throat> the withdrawal was a catastrophe in my opinion, and there was an ex inexcusable lack of accountability and negligence. On that, O'Neill agrees. I can't tell you how important it is that we say their names. For the family of those other 13 service members on our wall, all I can say is we will keep asking the tough questions until we get the answers because power comes from the people and they owe us the answers. And that video that you saw there, Marine Sergeant Vargas Andrews, comes from a March 8th House Foreign Affairs Committee hearing. He's been through dozens of surgeries to reach this point and continues to speak out on what he experienced in that chaotic withdrawal.